<laughs> He's just a pig. Does this part of your arms hurt? Um, okay, guys, so uh, the date, for those that are wondering, it is 4-3-2020. It's also a Friday. Um, so what we are doing today, we've got every 90 seconds for 24 minutes. So you're going to go four sets through four different stations. Station one is going to be a goblet squat or a back squat. I know you all are pretty familiar with these movements. We like through like anything and through this whole time period, we really want to see you guys focusing on quality movement and reps. Um, the weights really are kind of meh. We don't really care about that right now. We just really want to see you guys focus on that, focusing on that quality. So for the goblet squat, we're going to hold a, an object, any object. I'm going to pretend that this is my dumbbell in the front rack position because that's what I'm working with at home here, okay? So six to eight reps at a three, two, X, one tempo. So what that tempo means, we're going down for three seconds, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three. We're holding in an active bottom position here for two, coming right back up just for one, and then bringing it right back down. So if you have something that's on the lighter side, aim for the higher end of that rep range, you will feel this, even if you're doing an air squat variation of this with that tempo, especially if you're focusing on keeping uh, that active bottom position there. If you are one of the people that has a barbell at home, um, we're working with back squats and three to five reps here. Um, depending on the weights that you have available, will probably determine how you handle this. Again, same tempo three seconds lowering, two second pause on the bottom, right back up. Okay, so that's station one. You have the whole 90 second period to get through this before you move on to the next station, which is a tall kneeling banded pull apart or a bent over reverse fly. So if you have a band at home or even two small dumbbells, you could do that with this or you could even do this in the air because it will fatigue you. We're gonna be in a kneeling position on the floor arms out in front, okay? So we wanna to try to keep those shoulders down and back. We're just pulling across the chest, controlling back in, okay? So there is no tempo here, but I do want you demonstrating control on this, um, in your, with your positioning here. So we're just opening up. We're going 15 to 20 reps and then coming back in. This should take you close to a minute to get through all of those reps there. If you don't have a band, like I said, we could just do light dumbbells in the front rack position or two cans of something or we can go into a bent over reverse fly. So we're coming down into that hinge position. So if we have two objects, we're opening up, squeezing into the scaps in the back, and then closing back down. If you have one object that's light enough, we can open up together, and then pass to the other side, open up, pass to the other side. So there's many ways in which we can actually um, attack this, but I feel pretty confident that most of you have at least two cans of something um, that weighs around the same. Uh, station three is going to be an alternating lateral lunge step. So that's going to be 12 to 16 reps total. All right. So the tempo, I just want to see you guys demonstrating control on this. So you're going to take a big wide step out. Okay. We're sinking those hips down, turning that toe up and then coming back to the middle. I'd like you to meet back in the middle for each of these reps. Okay. And then we'll step it up to the side here, control down, bring it back to the middle. Okay. Um, you can do these unloaded, or if you have a kettlebell, dumbbell, or whatever object it is at home, a child, hug them, try to keep that chest and torso upright. Um, station four is going to be a windmill, so we're going three to five reps per side, nice and slow and controlled. I'm going to use this marker as my demo object. So we're going to take a nice, or a wide-ish stance, opposite hand starts on the outside of the thigh, arm extended overhead. We're just gonna be tracking down, shooting that hip behind us to the inside of our foot, okay? So the hand tracks down to the inside of the foot and then we're standing back up. So notice that my shoulder is rotating through, my eyes stay up on that kettlebell or dumbbell or object, whatever I'm using, and then I'm coming back up. So three seconds to lower, come back up, three to five reps per side. Again, obviously, if you guys have questions on any of this stuff, please holler at us. Then we are going into a seven minute, as many rounds of reps as possible piece, okay? Lots of jumping here. So if you have a box, we're going 14 box jumps or step ups. You can also use your stairs. So you can do a wide step up onto your stairs. So you can like skip like three steps, do that, 14 steps into 21 tuck jumps. So we're just in place, we're pulling those knees up here, okay? You'll obviously move a little bit faster than I just did there. Into 14 elbows to high plank. 
So we're just going to come down into that plank position here, roll up to the hands, back down to the elbows, okay? That's one rep. So I would suggest going seven reps in one direction, seven in the other direction. Um, I think that's it. Is that it, Jake? That's it. Sweet. Okay, bye.